Today I'll be adding this heat exchanger in line with the intake side of my water heater to preheat the water. And I'm gonna be using this water heater to preheat the water, which I use as my furnace essentially. And I know this is not my mess. This is how it was when I bought the house. And maybe one day I'll have time to clean it up. But the focus of today is this. This is the intake side. This is the output side. And then it's reversed on the up on, on this side. So what I'm gonna do is on one of my loops, I will be taking the hot water and coming down to the intake side. And they'll come out here and then go back up to my loop. Once it goes into that loop side, it should be a little cooler and then hopefully it'll preheat this side. The domestic water will be coming in from this side, the cold side, and then coming back out, hopefully a little warmer on the other side. I know this is not a very efficient size of heat exchanger, but I just wanted to preheat it a little bit. The water here comes out, um, I think it's like 40 degrees since we're in Alaska and this should help. Okay, a little update. Here's the heat exchanger. The inlet side is here again. And then it goes through the outlet goes there and it goes around behind the water heater. So there goes the cold side and then hopefully the warm side will come in here. Those valves are already open, already bled the air. That one is closed and it goes into the inlet side of the hot water heater or water heater. I also have a recirculating pump. I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm hoping that the heat will rise within the water heater. But if it doesn't, I can always turn it on and have it come on intermittently to recirculate the water. All right, the moment of truth, it's all plumbed in. It's not the prettiest, but it will work. I had to go to hardware store like two times, two extra times, uh, and it's just late. So here it is. I just turn on the heat. The I heard some air coming out of there. Or the automatic leader valve so hopefully there's no air trapped in the system and we shall see I'm gonna try to get some thermal camera images I think it just say takes pictures so I'll see if I can put them up on the screen but we'll see oh, the valve just opened oh my feel hot a little not hot but warm water coming through we'll see if this works with the thermal camera you can kind of see the heat plate getting warm oh, let's see if I can do this that only takes pictures so that's why I'm doing this As far as I know, anyways. So, uh, uh, cool. So, warm water is coming through. And then it's going in there. Oh. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can see the temperature. It's 107 going through the heat exchanger. Um, I'm not able to get a good reading on the pipes. It keeps changing. But at least it's working. The concept is working. Let's see, 
of that. 90. Okay. Yeah, that's better than 40 degrees. 102. So it's going to take some time.